We also had no cannons in Australia and um, decided we would ask the General Motors Corporation um, to uh, see if they could build two pounders. Um, which, you know, it, even a Panzer three and four could be destroyed by a two pounder at hmm. 450 uh, metres range. Oh, no, Which that. is, well, confidently. Yeah. Uh, which, which is not an unreasonable fighting range. It's hmm. not ideal. You want to be able to whack them at a couple of miles if, if possible, but it, it's workable, particularly in, in jungle fighting, definitely workable. And we actually figured out, because we didn't have any nickel. Turns out we have lots of nickel. We didn't know we had nickel um, back then. Uh, and our metallurgists actually figured out how to make a cannon without nickel, but using vanadium, uh, which we had lots of. The Australian two-pounder cannon, uh, if you look in the photos in the slideshow, had a stepped design along the um, the barrel instead of the smoother design of the British ones, which does mean that the um, Australian Museum of Armour and Artillery, um, where Rob's seen touching the uh, machine gun um, in, in one of our pictures, um, is not stepped. 